Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is standing by Canadian intelligence, indicating India played a role in the death of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Najjar, despite New Delhi calling the claim absurd, and is calling on the country to take the matter seriously. This is what PM Trudeau is saying. Um, over the course of the summer, uh, we have been uh, working closely with our intelligence agencies um, who are uh, moving forward in their analysis. We wanted to make sure uh, that we had uh, solid grounding in uh, understanding what was going on in analysis and indeed in facts. And we wanted to make sure we were taking the time uh, to talk with our allies, to share what we knew. We wanted to make sure that we fully shared with the government of India uh, the seriousness and the depths of our uh, preoccupations and indeed conclusions. Uh, but. Uh, Canadians have a right to know and uh, need to know when things are, are going on like this and that's uh, why we made the decision uh, to do this. On Monday afternoon, Trudeau told the House of Commons in a rare statement on a matter of national security that Canadian intelligence agencies were investigating credible allegations that agents of the Indian government were involved in the June death of prominent Canadian Sikh leader Hardeep Singh Najjar in BC. Asked on his way into a Tuesday morning cabinet meeting why the Canadian government went public with this allegation, Trudeau said since the summer, officials had been working closely with intelligence agencies to make sure that we have solid grounding in understanding what's going on. He said, after raising the matter directly with allies and India on the sidelines of the G20 summit, Trudeau said he felt that Canadians had the right to know. Following these allegations, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government hit back early Tuesday, denying any involvement in any act of violence on Canadian soil and announcing it would expel a senior Canadian diplomat. The statement from India's Ministry of External Affairs read, Allegations of government of India's involvement in any act of violence in Canada are absurd and motivated. Similar allegations were made by the Canadian Prime Minister to our Prime Minister and were completely rejected. Such Substantiated allegations seek to shift the focus from Khalistani terrorists and extremists who have been provided shelter in Canada and continue to threaten India's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The inaction of the Canadian government on this matter has been a long-standing and continuing concern. After yesterday's accusation, PM Trudeau today said that he isn't trying to provoke the South Asian country. He told reporters before a cabinet meeting that India and the government of India needs to take this matter with the utmost seriousness. We are doing that. We are not uh, looking to um, provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them and uh, we want to work with the government of India uh, to lay everything clear and to ensure uh, that there is proper protection. Tensions between the two countries have been terse and flared after Trudeau's announcement. On Monday, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolly said she had ordered the expulsion of a senior Indian diplomat. PM Trudeau said Tuesday that Canada will remain calm. It's also been reported that Trudeau briefed the leaders of some of Canada's closest allies about the case, including UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, French President Macron and US President Joe Biden. A spokesperson for the US State Department said it has been in contact with Canada on the issue. In a statement, the spokesperson said, We are deeply concerned about the allegations referenced by PM Trudeau. It is critical that Canada's investigation proceed and the perpetrators be brought to justice. Today, Minister Anita Anand also commented on India's alleged role in the killing of Hardeep Singh Najjar. Let's listen to what she has to say. Uh, yesterday, uh, it was a very difficult time uh, to hear the Prime Minister um, make the remarks that he did, uh, especially for families who come from India. I'm thinking about my parents, for example, uh, and I will say that I think that that sentiment is shared by South Asians and families who come from India regardless of religion. And I would just say that this is a time where we have to do two things. One, uh, let the legal process continue as it must and uh, be prudent in that respect.
Conservative leader Pierre Polyev called on Prime Minister Trudeau to release more information about the case. This is what he is saying. They just expelled an Indian diplomat. Should they do more in response to this news? I think we need to see more facts. Um, the Prime Minister hasn't provided any facts. Uh, he, uh, he provided a statement, um, and I will just emphasize that he, he didn't tell me any more in private than he told Canadians in public, so we want to see more information. What is the risk if he doesn't provide more information or these allegations are found somehow to be untrue or uncredible? What is the risk? Real. But what specific yeah. information, what specific facts do you think Canadians and yourself need to know in this situation? We need to have uh, the evidence that uh, drew, the, that allowed the Prime Minister to come to the conclusions he made yesterday. Do you agree with the government's decision to go public with the intelligence? And if so, why? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Do you agree with the government's decision to go public with the intelligence? And if so, why? I would, I would have to have more uh, evidence to make a, a judgment on that. Okay, last question. Apart from Anita Anand, other ministers also spoke to reporters on their way into a cabinet meeting and talked about how difficult this news of a potential extrajudicial killing of Canadian has been to digest, particularly for those with ties to India and those who have large diaspora communities in their ridings. Housing Infrastructure and Communities Minister Sean Fraser said, I have been engaged with some of my colleagues, not only who come from the community, but also represent large populations from India within their communities. And they are having a hard time. Minister Harjit Sajjan also spoke with the reporters and said, Go out to Hardeep's family uh, and our main focus is making sure that the, the family gets the justice um, that they deserve. And uh, from yesterday's message, I hope it also sends a very message of confidence and a strong message to all the communities who are potentially impacted by foreign interference that their government not only takes the foreign interference extremely seriously but this is something we've been on for a very long time some things you can talk about in public and some things that you can't but this is something that we will always as canadians protect our sovereign Nijar was shot dead by two masked gunmen in the parking lot of his gurdwara in surrey Homicide investigators have not made any arrest in connection to a slaying or named a motive.